fraction, it is a numerical quantity that is not a whole number. Fraction can also be defined as a small or tiny part, amount, or proportion of something. Another way of defining fraction is it is part of a whole. Let's show an example of a fraction. 2 out of 5 on the top, it is the numerator which represents how many parts or portion we have. At the bottom, it is the denominator which show how many parts the whole is divided into. For this example, we have 5. So 5 parts is the entire portion of a whole. Let's draw a model to show the example fraction. Remember all the parts must be equal 2 out of 5, 3 out of 5, 4 out of 5, 5 out of 5, 5 out of 5 that means it has make a whole. If the value of the numerator is equal to the denominator, it has make an entire portion as a whole. Equivalent fractions. They are different fractions that have the same value. They are having the same value but presented in with different denominator and numerator. Let's show example of equivalent fractions. 1 out of 2. 2 out of 4. 3 out of 6 Although they have different numbers for their numerators and denominator, they still having the same value. As show, all the fractions in our example have the value as half. 1 out of 2 is equals to 2 out of 4. 2 out of 4 is equals to 3 out of 6. Let's make some equivalent fractions. We can create an equivalent fraction by using multiplication. For example, 1 out of 3. Let's multiply by 2. We need to multiply it to both numerator and denominator. That would give us 2 out of 6. Now let's try multiply by 5. That would give us 5 out of 15. Now let's try multiply by 3. That would give us 3 out of 9. Let's show the bar graph for the four fractions. As you could see, the fractions have the same value. We can also make equivalent fractions using division. Example we use a fraction 9 out of 27. We can divide by 3. Like using multiplication, we need to do on both numerator and denominator. We have 3 out of 9. We can also divide the fraction by 9. 1 out of 3. Let's show the bar models of the fractions. They are all equal. Lowest term can be defined as a form of fraction in which the numerator and denominator have no factor in common except 1. We can use 2, 3, 5, 7 and 11 as the possible factor. Let's try 32 out of 44. Is there any common factor for the numerator and denominator? Yes, 2 is the common factor for 32 and 44. 32 divided by 32 is 16. 44 divided by 2 is 22. The common factor is again 2 for 16 and 22. 16 divided by 2 is 8 and 22 divided by 2 is 11. There is no common factor for 8 and 11 except 1. Therefore the lowest term for 32 out of 44 is 8 out of 11. Another example. 12 out of 24. 12 and 24 have a common factors of 2 and 3. We select the highest common factor. Therefore we use 3 instead of 2. 4 and 8 have a common factor of 2. 2 and 4 also have a common factor of 2. Finally the lowest term for 12 out of 24 is 1 out of 2. Let's try another one. This time a bigger number. 55 out of 110. 
55 and 110 can be divided by 5 or 11. So we choose 11 as it is a bigger number. Five and ten can be divided by five. We have one out of two as the lowest term. The common factor for one and two is only one. Now we are going to order some fractions in ascending order. That means to order from the smallest to the biggest fraction. We use 1 out of 2 which is half of the whole as a benchmark. Now identify those fraction lower than 1 out of 2. We found that 2 out of 6 and 4 out of 9 are lower than 1 out of 2. That means these two are the lowest two. We need to compare these two to identify which is the smallest and which is the second smallest. Both of them have different denominators. 6 and 9. So we have find a common multiple for 6 and 9. The common multiple is 36. We have to make two denominators as 36. To make 6 as 36, we need to multiply by 6. To make 9 as 36, we need to multiply by 4. Remember similar to a covalent fraction, if we multiply a value to the denominator, we must also multiply the numerator with the same value. Let's do it. Now we are able to tell which one is the smallest. 12 out of 36 is smaller than 16 out of 36. Therefore 2 out of 6 is the smallest and 4 out of 9 is the second smallest. The next step is to identify another 2 and see which is the largest. We need to compare 7 out of 10 and 5 out of 8. We need to make their denominators to be similar. Let's find their common multiple. Their common multiple is 40. For the fraction with the denominator which is 10, it need to multiply by 4 to make it 40. For the denominator which is 8, we need to multiply by 5. 28 out of 40 and 25 out of 40. We know that the largest fraction is 28 out of 40 which came from 7 out of 10. So now we have the ordering from the smallest to the largest. Here we are going to solve the addition of fractions with two different denominators. The first step is make both denominators to be similar. Here we have 7 and 4. One way to get the common multiple is to multiply by the opposite fraction's denominators. So the first fraction is multiplied by 4 and another one is multiplied by 7. Once it is done, we can simply add them together. Only add the numerator value but keep the denominator value intact. 22 out of 28. We can convert it to the lowest term by divided by 2. The answer is 11 out of 14. Now let's try this problem. The first step is to make both denominator to be similar, second add it up. Third, convert it to the lowest term if needed. There is no need to convert it to the lowest term as 14 out of 15 is the lowest term. Now we come to the subtraction of fractions. The steps to solve it is almost exactly as the addition. First, make two denominator the same. To make both the same, you can either find a common multiple or simply multiply the denominator by another denominator. Once the fractions are having similar denominator, subtract the numerator and retain the denominator value. Lastly convert it to the lowest term if needed. Let's try this problem.
that's all. Do remember to subscribe our channel for more updated video. See you again.